Hey guys, I wanna to talk to you about scaling options in the K2 program. If you're choosing option one, the main workout, you have a strength piece, an accessory piece, and a high intensity conditioning piece. When you look at those movements, don't worry about whether or not you think you can do those exact movements. There are ways to modify and scale those movements so that you're still getting a high intensity, good quality workout for your day. We can scale down. If you say toes to bar and you can't do toes to bar, then we can do hanging knee raises. If you can't do hanging knee raises, we'll do lying leg raises. If you can't do lying leg raises, you'll do dead bugs, okay? There's a million ways to scale these movements so that you still get a good quality, high intensity workout. So if you're choosing option one, choose based on your stimulus and then look for those scaling options to find what is appropriate for you. On the other side of the coin, if you feel like the recovery flow is the appropriate choice for you for the day, you're wanting to move at a lower intensity and keep things a little lower stress for the day, but you still feel like you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more than what is written in the recovery flow, there are ways to scale up. We can load certain movements. There are more challenging variations of certain movements. So if that is something that you want, make sure you ask your coach and we can scale things up to provide a little bit more of a challenge for you in that recovery flow. Now, when you're looking for your options, in SugarWad, there is a section called Athlete Notes in SugarWad underneath each working piece. If you go into that athlete's notes section, you will find a list of scaling options for every movement in there so that you can figure out what is appropriate for you for the day.